I received my first PR package and I'm so excited. So this is skincare, this brand that is called Bamboo Earth. They contacted me and told me that they just wanted to send me their products to try no strings attached. I had one brand contacted me and uh, they wanted me to try out their products and to review them, and make video about them. Um, but there was a catch. So they only wanted a review if I liked the products. And if I didn't like them, I couldn't say anything and I had to sign a contract. And I was like, Okay, so what if I like the products for the most part, but some of them just, you know, weren't a good fit for my skin, just didn't work for my skin. Can I say this? And they were like, well, if you like the products, you can review them. If you didn't like the products, just don't say anything. And I was like, no guys, that's not gonna work for me because I wanna be honest with my viewers. When I watch reviews, I want people to be honest with me and to say things as is. So let's see what we got here. Wow, there's a lot of things. There's like mini size products and full size products. So they gave me a toner, rosemary toner, rosemary cleanser. Uh, some kind of moisturizer, a mask, deep sea mud mask, intense hydration cactus concentrate. So I think it's like a moisturizer. Honestly, I am really excited to try these products out and I'm gonna do an experiment. So I'm gonna be using just these products for some time. And if they are good, I of course will let you know. And by the way, today I'm going to our first parent-teacher meeting at Alex's school. He is going to school in two days. This is crazy. And look at this huge and heavy bag. This is Alex's school supplies <laughs> that I'm bringing in with me tonight. Oh my goodness, you guys. Our teacher-parents meeting is over and it was honestly so, um, I don't know what's the word not amazing but just very welcoming and very comforting his school is amazing his teacher is so awesome i love her uh, she explained everything very well and honestly i am very excited for him to start the school year he's gonna have so much fun in school i'm honestly so happy for him what mommy Say something. I want to cry. Why? I don't know. Because I'm a mom. <laughs> it's the first day of school. Yeah. It's been a very emotional day. <laughs> I was very excited. I thought I was ready, but I wasn't. What are you doing? Good. Good? I can see that you're smiling. <laughs> Did you go to the cafeteria today? Yeah. Yeah? I even ate my snack, lunch and snack, but not all of my milkshake. I'll, I'll drink it at home, okay? Oh, okay. No problem. Yeah. But it also was a little hard. Why was it hard? Well, because she told us a lot of things. We did so many things, like I got so tired and sweaty. Oh. <laughs> well, you know what? That's this is just the first day. You're getting so much information and then you yeah. get used to. Congratulations. Yay! Yay. <laughs> okay, you guys. Let's talk about that serious topic that I wanted to talk about. <laughs> and it's about health insurance. So currently none of us has a health insurance. Um, and my problem is, is that I just don't get it. I'm self-employed, so I can't get an insurance through my employer and I have to look for it on my own. And I'm just so confused, honestly. Um, 
<clears throat> and don't come for me in the comments for what I'm about to say because I'm honestly asking for a friend. You know, if there's any Americans watching me or maybe, I don't know, immigrants who've been through this process, who know something about health insurance, just help me figure this out because I have a lot of questions and a lot of problems with this. I tried to do my research and it's really hard to find like um, full and adequate information on health insurance. And when I go on a website, like on a marketplace, there's like thousands of options. And what I hate the most about all of this and particularly in the United States that very often, but especially on health insurance, you can't see any prices. So when you Google, when you do your research, you don't see the cost. And then when you try to get a quote, this is where the fun begins. You literally get like thousands of phone calls from different health insurance agents and whatnot. And on most of these calls, what I see popping up on my phone, it says scam likely. If you have a website, just give me the quotes, just give me the options so that I can see them. I don't need thousands of calls. I don't need to talk to you because whenever you talk to them, they are so pushy. They literally try to make you buy their insurance. And I mean, just this fact got me thinking, is this a scam? Is this like the biggest legal scam, I mean health insurance, because if agencies or agents fight for you that fiercely, it tells you something. And if you can't get a quote online, if you can't see it, it also tells you something. It tells you that there's something else going on, that they are not interested in helping you get better healthcare or access to healthcare, they are interested in your money. This is just the feeling that I get from this and it's just way too confusing. Why does this have to be so confusing? Why can't it be simple for people? Also, another thing is that there's like different thousands of different plans that don't cover everything some plans cover only emergencies and some plans cover like some basic stuff and then you have those like deductibles or co-pays um and it's just way too complicated i mean man make it simpler and then another thing that gets me is that i hear very often these stories from people that their insurance didn't cover something that they should have covered and then they have all these problems they have to contact them they have to be on the phone like for half a day and they have to deal with all of that like if i'm paying for health insurance then you have to make sure that everything is working well and that I don't have all of these problems and that I don't end up with like thousands of dollars uh, in debt. Then there's also these crazy bills that people get from hospitals that very often there's mistakes in those bills. Like people get charged for things that they didn't get or they get charged twice or three times for the same thing. And they have to go through that and they have to call the hospital and then they have to call their um, health insurance agent and agency and then deal with all of that. I mean, it is way too messed up. I get it. Healthcare here in the United States is one of the best in the world. And there's great specialists and clinics here. But still, I don't think that it's fair to Americans to be in this kind of situation while literally all the rest of the world. They also have good healthcare and it's not that crazy and it's not that crazy expensive. It is affordable and everybody can get treatment and everybody can be healthy. And you know, we as a young family, we were thinking about having another baby, but I mean, having another baby here is just impossible because it is so crazy expensive. I don't know. I don't know who does this, but those people are clearly trying to decrease the population here in the United States. I'm sorry, don't get offended. I might be wrong. I'm just confused and 
If you know something about health insurance and you can help me out here or you can explain how this works, please help me out. So we are going to Chicago today to watch the air and water show and we are taking the train because we want to avoid traffic because it's supposed to be heavy today. today and it's not even 11 a.m. <laughs> I'm just so tired. I've been feeling under the weather like for this past week and actually like at the beginning of the week I I felt really sick like I had <clears throat> sore throat, blocked nose and my nose is still getting blocked from time to time and from time to time I have a runny nose and my voice is raspy but the worst thing about all of this is just that I feel really really tired all the time I haven't even gone to the gym like this week I hate it, I honestly hate it when I'm sick because it just messes up with my schedule and my routine completely anyways Today, by the way, we're going to the movies to watch Blue Beetle, this new new superhero movie. Um, and the tickets cost $4 today because it's like this national movie theater day or whatever it is. So they were like discounted. So of course I bought the tickets and I'm just gonna, I don't know, rest today even though I have a lot of work to do and I will do a lot of laundry, but still. I'm gonna take the rest of the day to just relax and decompress. <laughs> well, thank you guys for watching this video and as usual, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.